Hi, my name is Magritte Mackay, and I am the author of the Lake Scugog Ghost Mystery Series. The first book is Stone Cottage. The second book is Murder at Mothers. And my third book, which has just come out on May the 1st, is The Haunting of Hawks Ridge Hall. I'd like to read from you from the beginning of the story. Hawks Ridge Hall had seen better days. In the roaring 20s, the Grand Dam of Scugog Township was the place to be for opulent soirees and nefarious skullduggery. Alas, she now stood in genteel disabile, abandoned in the pre-dawn mist of early September. Her magnificent wrought iron gate squealed like an out-of-tune violin as the wind played on its rusty hinges. A hawk, perched on one of her crumbling stone pillars, was focused on a tiny field mouse scurrying across the unkept lawn, trying to reach the safety of the house. A blast of wind rustled the dry leaves across the warped front porch, swooshing through a broken cas casement window, screeching like a banshee. Inside the house, grimy water stains cascaded down the wall, creating grotesque patterns on the faded but elegant wallpaper. Dust motes stirred by the air current floated up the rickety staircase leading to the second floor. In the master bedroom, twin orbs of light danced in a sunbeam, peeking through the window at the, as the sun rose. They elongated into the apparitions of two women in their early 70s. Gladys, tall and slender, was dressed in a flowing caftan of blue and turquoise. She looked around the room, hands on hips, and said, Where the hell have you landed us now? What? said Martha, turning her head to look at the back side of her blue silk pantsuit. She looked up. Oh, well, not there, that's for sure. What are you looking for, said Gladys, noting her friend's actions. Just checking out to make sure I'm all in one piece. One time I materialized, my bottom half was backwards, she shivered. You have no idea how that made me feel. Satisfied everything was where it was supposed to be, she looked around the room, lines creasing her forehead. Hmm. This doesn't seem right. You think? So my GPS is a little off. Recalculating. What are we doing here anyway? You never did tell me what's going on. I figured you wouldn't come if I did, said Martha. Look, I come back every once in a while just to check on things. I've been watching Sissy and Mac. They've grown apart. They belong together, like Bobby and me, so I'm here to nudge them along. Sissy and Mac, I might have guessed, sighed Gladys. Well, it looks like we're off to a great start. I know. Can't believe I miscalculated. I wonder why we landed here. The two girls strolled around the old bedroom. Doesn't look like anyone's been here in years, said Gladys, as she pointed to the windowsill. Look at the dust. And are those mouse droppings? She shuddered. Disgusting. You afraid there might be a ghost, laughed Martha, wiggling her eyebrows. Come on, let's explore downstairs. With a flash, she was gone. Gladys followed as they set about inspecting the first floor. What a beautiful old place, said Martha, as she scanned the front living room. Needs a little work. But look at that crown molding. Wherever we are, 
This house must have been something in its heyday. If only walls could talk. Maybe they'd have some idea why we're here, said Gladys with a smirk. Just because I got a little off course, you don't have to be snarky. Let's go outside and see if we can figure out where we are. Changing into orbs to blend with the rising sun, they landed in the front yard. Doesn't look familiar to me. You? asked Gladys. Nope. Now what? I'd say we hang around for a while and see what's going on. We must have landed here for a reason, but darned if I know what it is. It's not like I have anything else to do, sniffed Gladys. I could be visiting another planet or discussing philosophy with our group, but no, I had to come with you. Martha groaned. Oh, for you give me a headache. Let's settle in the bushes by the front gate. Something is going to happen. I can feel it in my bones. What bones? You don't have any. Ha ha, very funny. Just be on the lookout. This, whatever it is, may be more than I bargained for. It always is, sighed Gladys. Thank you.